here at Progressive Field in Cleveland. The Guardians and the Rays getting set to square off. It is game two. We've got another really good pitching matchup. There's the McKenzie, the slender right-hander on the hill, and you look at what his repertoire is. He's got that four-seam fastball, the slider, but Dougie, the curve is what we will really be looking for him to lean on, especially with two strikes. Yandy Diaz, the leadoff hitter. In the air, center field. Chasing back is Straw. And out of the track, he pulls it down. That'll bring up Wander Franco, the switch hitting shortstop, batting left handed. Now the kick in the pitch, and it is swung on, skied in the air once again. Shallow center, Miles Straw waving everybody off. Two down. Randy Rosarena, 0 for 4 yesterday with three strikeouts. As that pitch is swung on, skied in the air, guess where? Shallow center. How about that? 3 0 pitch. Shallow fly to center. That'll get our first standing ovation of the day as the Guardians head to the third base dugout against Tyler last now. He has an electric arm coming back from the surgery, but you look at what he can be effective. The strikeout rate, 39%, way above Major League Baseball average. Has a lot of, a lot of body of work this season because of the injury, but in the past, it's about the curveball. 54% four-seam fastball, but the curveball is the, the electric pitch that he gets the chase and gets those laid out strikeouts. Leading it off for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. And a little roller to third, backhanded Diaz, long throw, and a nice play by Yandy Diaz to get the Guardians, Stephen Kwan. Here's Ahmed Rosario, the right-handed hitting shortstop. A swing and a miss, Rosario goes down on a good curve, and Glasnow has gotten the first two. I mean, this is what we're talking about, the chase. This is what the Rays had struggle offensively yesterday, chasing balls down and away out of the zone. Here's Jose Ramirez, switch hitter batting left-handed. Swing, and he popped him up. On the infield, right side, Wander Franco calling for it. Now the wind pushing it back to short right, but a couple of steps onto the outfield grass, and he makes the catch, and that will retire the side. So three up, three down for Tyler Glass now as well. Second inning, no score in this one as the cleanup hitter and D.H. Harold Ramirez. Now the 2-2, and strike three call. Nailed the inside corner. That'll bring up G-Man Choi, the left-handed hitting first baseman. 2-2. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. Struck him out. And a two-out walk for Isak Paredes, and now Manuel Margot, the batter. Now the 0-2 delivery. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Tristan McKenzie pitches around the walk. Three strikeouts in the inning, midway in the second. Nothing, nothing. Top half of inning number three, Christian Bethancourt against Tristan McKenzie. And what a jump this guy took. McKenzie, at just 25 years old, his final 11 starts are 227 ERA. First, the two strike offerings. The 0 2 cut on and missed, struck him out on a curveball. Rays don't have a hit yet today. They have a walk, and that's all. Here's Jose Siri. Now the two strike pitch. Swing and a miss with a fastball at 93. Last five outs have been strikeouts for Tristan McKenzie. Two down in this scoreless third, top of the order, and Yandy Diaz. 0 2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. McKenzie strikes out the side. He's got a half dozen punch outs. Brady's right handed batter did not start yesterday, but successful on a pinch hit late. One, two, hit on the ground and a base hit into right field. First hit of the day for the Rays and a single with a man aboard. Scoreless game in the sixth. Two out, two men aboard. And the batter will be Harold Ramirez. In the air, left field, Quan shuffling back. Has it. And McKenzie, six shutout innings, a brilliant performance here this afternoon. What a job today by Tyler Glasnow. His third start since Tommy John's surgery in August of a year ago. Now he turns it over to one of the deepest and best bullpens in the game, Peter Fairbanks. Two high ball four, and now Straw is on. Check swing and a pitch upstairs. Did not go. And now two are aboard. Some discussion here, Kevin Cash, whether to bring the trainer out. Plate umpire Adam Hamery out there. Is it a blister situation? And he's done. Shaking that finger. I don't know that it was a blister or maybe some tingling or lack of feeling. Hard to say. Yeah. But pretty clear. This place is in a frenzy. Cleveland has loaded the bases for Jose Ramirez. Right-hander ready. Ramirez waits. He had a swing and a miss, and he got him. Huge strikeout for Jason Adam. 
as he gets Ramirez. Bases are still loaded. One out. Now Tampa Bay can drop back to double play depth. Josh Taylor has singled and grounded out. Swing and a ground ball is short. Wander has it. Goes to the bag out. Throws the first. Double play. It's a double play. And Jason Adam comes in with a bases loaded. Nobody out situation and keeps it a scoreless game. Back here in Cleveland, yeah, most everybody on their feet at Progressive Field. We go bottom nine, the Guardians and the Rays. There's no score. It'll be Josh Naylor now. Naylor, during the regular year, 20 home runs. And a swing and a miss. Naylor is gone. Clevenger gets him. And we're headed to the 10th inning. It's extras here in Cleveland. Rays, Guardians, nothing, nothing. So the go-ahead runs in scoring position with one down. And the batter will be Manuel Margot. That one hit hard. Gobbled up Jimenez. Throws him out at first. And down to third goes Bruhan. They bring the trainer out to the mound to check on Sandlin. And he's coming out of the game. I don't think it hit him. I think it was something about the way he turned. Sandlin out of the game. But Eli Morgan is on now to face Francisco Mejia, the former can't-miss prospect for Cleveland. Swing and a line drive. Straw coming on. He's there. Mejia hit it on the button. But Straw able to track it down. And now Tampa Bay with runners at first and third. Two down in the 12th. And again, no score in this ballgame. And the batter coming to the plate will be Manuel Margot. A swing and a bouncer toward third. Backhand by Ramirez. Foul ground throw to first. Scoop by Naylor. He got him! Tampa Bay will challenge the call. A backhanded grab by Ramirez going to the line. Falling into foul ground. A one-hop throw to first. A great scoop by Naylor. Did he keep the foot on the bag or did it come off? After they the call stand, the runner is out. Tampa loses the second so a runner at first, two down in the 12th inning, still no score. Andre Jimenez, who's had so many big moments in his first full year in the big leagues, an all-star, potential gold clover. It's inside, and it came close to hitting him, but he also looked like he may have tried to swing at it. Or foul it off. I mean, the ball was running in. It looked like just... He had missed it. But it was following him. Yeah, just missed. Swing and a miss. Got him to wave at it. Struck him out. Fifth time he has struck out. Oh, hang on a second. Yeah, they had the count wrong. And so Gonzalez, with everybody coming off the field, raced to third. So Terry Francona and Adam Hamery. So it will be strike three. Tampa Bay has its best chance to score. They've got runners at the corners, one out, no score in the 15th, and it's the switch hitting Francisco Mejia coming to the plate. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He got it with his curveball. And Mejia keeps runners at the corners, and now two down. And the center fielder, Jose Siri, comes to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Maley picks it up, throws him out. We'll head to the bottom of the 15th inning in game two. There is no score in Cleveland. And there's someone dressed as SpongeBob SquarePants because that's Oscar Gonzalez walk-up song. Here's Oscar Gonzalez. A swing and a high fly, deep left center field. It is gone! series a mob scene at home plate a towering solo homer to left center 